Hello friends, we're going back to Shining Force 2. Before we get started, two things. First, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing? Get on that. Second, big shout out to K. Odenwalder. Sorry I'm pronouncing it Germanly, you probably say Walder, but, or Walder, but, uh, K.O. And uh, Testing Game both came through with some big comments for me last week that uh, give me an idea of what I should be doing here in terms of uh, promotional stuff. But right now I kind of want to see what level all my guys are at. I think 20 is the highest. Uh, 19, 18, we got a couple of 20, we got Peter and May. Oh, and that's it, okay. So we are gonna grind a bit more. Uh, we do not have another desire. Yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> we do not have another desire. We do not have a, um, a need to promote Peter yet, I don't think. But, oops, get back on there. Stop it! Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I want to, um, I want to look into the promotion stuff a bit more. And that means grinding my guys up to level 20. Which means right here. So we're jumping right into battle. This is the battle that we messed around with a little bit last time. Um, <clears throat> I assume that Gargo can come down and get me. So let's just park here. Oh, I forgot there's a golem over there. Let's call them a golem. <clears throat> Friends, my family and I have been watching uh, season two of Rings of Power. I enjoyed season one um season two let me ask you um is it just me or is season two kind of a mess i also think it's weird that like sauron is the most compelling and possibly sympathetic character in the show i find most of the characters really unlikable so um yeah, I don't know. If you're watching Rings of Power, or if you've watched season two of Rings of Power, yeah, let me know if I'm just radically off base. But to me, it just feels like it's a mess. I don't know if, like, AI wrote the script here or what, but it just... I don't know. It feels like there's a lot of plot holes. Anyway, let's kill some rocks. Sir Butt's taking all the damage here. Right. That's 19 so far. Let's get Slade in on the action. Stab a gargoyle in the back. Or don't. Thanks, dude. Appreciate your help. Alright. We're gonna bring... Uh... Not quite... Alright. So I guess we're gonna put you... Where do I want to put you? Oh, I'm gonna put you right there. No, that doesn't make sense. Nah, uh, let's go here, and we'll attack the golem. That was a good hit. All right. <clears throat> um, let's do this to this guy. Seven damage, all right. And we're gonna move you in here to really wreck him. Oh, come on. I thought that those two combined would take him out. All right, Gargoyle, 19 damage. That's what we're talking about here, Jaha. <laughs> you know what it, <laughs> it just occurred to me what it is. Jaha, right? Stupid name, but what it is for me is that it makes me think of Jimmy Dean in Diamonds Are Forever when he's playing Willard White <clears throat> and Bond is looking at the map of all of the holdings of the company and he's like, Baja, California? And Jimmy Dean, uh, bless his soul here, 
Jimmy Dean's like, Baha! I don't have anything in Baha! That's what I think of every time I say Jaha, is Jimmy Dean in Diamonds Are Forever. Which, as a Bond movie, is um, some of the most delightful trash in the entire franchise. <laughs> I love that movie. I love how goofy it is. It's so campy. Um, but honestly, it's like, I'm a big Bond fan. Um, Sean Connery looks like he's having the most fun in that movie out of any movie he did. He just he just seems to be in such a happy place. And there's so many silly moments. Um, yeah, I, I love that movie. For so many reasons and it's just ridiculous i shouldn't be running my very injured sir butt away like that all right so so far we are six minutes into this episode and i've talked about rings of power and diamonds are forever um let's just whack him with a stick Hey, level 18, HP 1, MP 2, attack 1, defense 1, agility 1, D-Soul? Not De La Soul, this is D-Soul. What, do, what does D-Soul do? I am intrigued. Sl wow, dude, Slate just did 19 damage to a tank. Level 17, HP 1, attack 2, defense 1, agility 1. Nice. Unfortunately, we can't bring Geralt anywhere, and Jaha, California can't do anything useful. Let's just bring him over here for additional support, I guess. But Luke can finish this guy, right? Oh, come on, Luke. Disappointing me. Alright, Pete. Pete's gonna one-shot this golem. No, not quite. All right. You only got one XP for it, though. Sir Butt's gonna take out the golem. Come on, man. Couldn't kill a crippled rock monster? What are we doing? May gets the kill. Nice. May's level 20. 21. HP 1, Attack 1, Defense 1, Agility 1, Coins. Nice. Alright. Now, I, I had planned on grinding this battle, but I also don't want this to be really boring. So, assuming we don't completely fall apart here, I mean, right now we're just ripping through these guys. But assuming we don't fall apart, we'll probably just finish this battle outright, and then uh, go from there. But... Um, again, uh, thanks so much to Testing Game and K. Oldenwalder. Uh, K.O. in particular has been commenting on pretty much every video, giving me lots of tips here, which I really appreciate because I don't really know what I'm doing. As you can tell by Sir Butt being almost dead. Oh, there's a gargoyle down there. Um, so... I gotta get Sir Butt out of there before he gets deaded. Something heavy just fell on the floor above my head. In case you were wondering what that loud thump was. Dude, Slade is a... He's a bit of a glass cannon. Um, let's get May up in here. Nice. Maybe I should uh, promote May after this battle. Let's get Geralt over here. Let's finish off the golem. Nice job, Harvey. And let's get you over here. Do I have a... Uh... Let's do a healing drop. I don't want Sir Butt to die. Wow. Okay, 30 HP from the healing drop. That was cool. Let's 
Let's go after this gargoyle. Gargoyle's way more dangerous. So, friends. Ow. Glad I actually attacked that gargoyle, because no, Chester... Well, actually, Chester just had his turn. Um, attacking a gargoyle makes me think of the cartoon Gargoyles. I think there's a reasonable straight line there in terms of my thought process, which is, you know, fairly rare. But I know I got into this conversation a handful of years ago with a friend of mine who uh, hated that Disney was making uh, the main character in Gargoyles gay, where, and then like I, oh, that's bad. Uh, I pointed him to uh, an article about how like the main character from the 1994 Gargoyles show was always considered gay. Um, and then he kind of stopped talking about that. <laughs> but uh, that is neither here nor there. I guess what I'm going for really is Gargoyles was a show that I don't know, I just, I never really watched. It was kind of outside of my, um, I don't want to say my interest area, but it, it wasn't quite what I was after. I was really into like the X-Men cartoon. Um, the Batman cartoon with the Mark Hamill Joker was fantastic. Um, and then after that, you know, then it was more like, uh, I don't know, like the MTV Spring Break stuff, because you know, you, you still want to get some, some eye candy entertainment, right? <laughs> anyway, um, it's not like I'm talking about Wild On, guys. Relax. Um, so, my question for you is, as a kid, what was your uh, go-to cartoon? I know I already asked you what about um, Rings of Power, but you can answer the Rings of Power, you can answer the cartoon one, or you can answer both if you're really feeling compelled to do so. But the gargoyle just made me think of uh, 90s cartoons. And um, actually, one of my favorite cartoons was an 80s cartoon called Dino Riders. And I don't know if anybody remembers Dino Riders, but um, I had a, a VHS of that that I just, like, played into oblivion. I watched that tape so many times, loved Dino Riders. And it had this really cool animated opening with this kid at a science museum and he's looking at the T-Rex skull. And it, like, it was just such a cool thing. And I just noticed Chester leveled up and I'm talking about Dino Riders because, again, my brain. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Tell me your favorite cartoon. As a kid. I mean, if anybody's younger... Anybody younger is watching this and you grew up on anime, tell me your favorite anime. That's fine. I will never call an anime a cartoon, but I will count it for the purposes of this informal question. Let's crush this mage. Nice. 19 big ones. You're going to punch Harvey? For two damage? How dare you? Alright, let's get... Where do we want to put you? Do we want to just attack this black monk? Sure, why not? Nice job, Pete. 28 damage. He's such a monster. So I think this is the, um, the battle that KO told me about a long time ago that he likes to grind because there's an arrow launcher on the top of this, like, cliff thing in a cave and this is the one that he grinds levels on but again I just don't want this to be boring content where I'm just doing the same battle over and over again so we will just uh... oh wow Pete's the only one who's actually kind of hurt um, we'll, we'll heal Geralt here just for Sarah to have something to do um, but yeah I just don't want this series to be boring for folks so we'll, we'll finish out this battle and uh, go from there I do want to get Sarah and Slade more levels, though. Now, I'm assuming, and maybe I'm wrong to assume this, but I assume that 
pretty much everybody can promote or everyone can promote, including Sir Butt. Does he change from like, uh, no, 18. HP one, attack one, defense one, agility one. Nice. Um, okay, so you want to just whack this guy? <laughs> nice, dude. Nine damage with the stick. Getting some Donatello action. That was another great cartoon. The one that had, um... God, why am I forgetting his name? James whatever. James something. The, um... The guy who played Uncle Phil. He did the voice of Shredder. I can't believe I'm blanking on dude's name, but... Anyway. Ninja Turtles cartoon was fabulous. 15 damage. There's also a... <laughs> Sorry, I'm on this, like, total cartoon kick right now. There's also a really big fan, and it has not aged well, of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Ooh, level 19 Geralt. HP 1, attack 1, defense 1, agility 1, 210. All right. Yeah, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, I loved it. And then I watched some of it kind of recently and was like, oh boy, this is... This is all sorts of questionable. Now I say that as somebody who hasn't watched Dino Riders as a kid, and it's probably just as bad. All right, we are almost done with this battle. We got Jaha, California on the move. We got an arrow launcher, a gargoyle, and a golem. Sir Butt's leading the charge. Fearless leader here. So does he go from, like, swordman to hero or something like that? If you promote him? Uh, okay. I hope they don't all come over here and kill him, because that's going to be embarrassing. Considering how easy this fight was this time. Alright. Let's get you up here. Kill this guy. Nice! Two guys left. Chester got one XP. And Geralt can come up here. What I really need is Sarah to come over there. Let's get Harvey down in the pot. Mm, let's actually bring you down. We're gonna wait here for Sarah. We're gonna leave you down here too, because you're not getting anything out of this battle. I do want to kill the Gargoyle, because I do believe from that prior comment that the arrow launcher is considered the boss of this fight. So, we're not going to kill the arrow launcher. May can take some damage, no big deal. Gargoyle's going to attack Chester, that's totally fine. 15 damage, that's a pretty strong attack, but that's, again, that's fine. And we're going to heal. Actually, let's heal Pete. Pete deserves it. He's been hurt a long time. Okay. Queso's coming in. Oh. Man, Slade could take this thing out. I don't want him to. I do want him to. Oh, eh. I don't know what to do. Let's just leave him here. He's gonna get killed. I just don't want to miss out on the XP of this gargoyle. Oh, and look at this. I should have just killed that arrow launcher. We're just not going to attack. I want S Slade to get that kill. I don't really want Luke to get the kill. we got to get this gargoyle out of here. That's the problem. Wish Geralt hadn't missed. Alright, thank you for shooting at May instead of Slade. Totally fine. Um. Well, I don't 
really want Sir... Well... I guess. Couldn't decide. Hopefully I get more than one XP. Oh good, 46. Okay, level 20. HP 2, attack 1, defense 1, agility 1, gold coins. Alright, that was worth it. Pete, you're not getting the kill, man. I'm sorry. Actually, Chester's pretty good, too. But let's heal the only important person here. So I'm guessing that it's at this point that I should be leaving this battle. I really want Slade to get the kill. Honestly. There we go. Do it, dude. 15 damage. Hey! 19. Wow. 48 XP, 290. All right. Oh, there's a chest there. It was lucky for me that I met you. Thank you. Follow me to the ancient tunnel. No, 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 I'm not following you. I want to go to the chest. Dude, chest. Why is this door closed? That's strange. Oh, well, let's go in. What? Let me try again. Petro, my grandson, locked the door. Sorry, guys. We can't go to Grand's Island this way. What's the point? All right, let's go um, get this chest though. It was up here. Search. Wooden panel? What is a wooden panel? No, stop it. What's a wooden panel? Huh? Is that a promotion item, or does that have something to do with this door? What? Alright, well there's clearly a way to do this, but what am I supposed to do? And the old man just wandered off. Oh, there's another chest. Power water? Power water. Is that a one-time use? No, oh, stop it. I always hit the wrong button. Item. Use. Power water. Can I equip power water? No. Alright. Hmm. Well, there's got to be a way to get that open, but I don't know what it is. So let's go back outside and see if Old Man's there. Is he just gone? Oh, he just left. <laughs> okay, bye, dude. What's this place? I don't remember. Oh. Right. This is where uh, we started our boat adventure. Was there anything this way? kind of lame. I actually want to get back to my main place. But um, I don't really know where it is anymore. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you all, I'm not sure where I live. It's not there. That's where Pete's from. I kind of feel like if I went left, that would take me closer to where I came from. Oh. Alright. 
I don't think I've already done this today, have I? What's over here? Wow, what a tremendous waste of time that was, too. They really could have put those rocks a lot earlier in this path. How do I get home? I don't know how to open the door. I don't know how to get home. Man. I mean, I could get out and wander around the grass, but my issue is I don't want to deal with random encounters at this point that are going to be, like, super weak and a waste of time. Is my home over here? I just, I feel like it's left. Is it here? Here? Do I live over here? Is this where I'm from? I think this is it. There's a village to the east of here, but everybody jumps into a house when I try to talk to them. That's a phoenix. Very lucky to see him. Yeah. I also don't remember what I'm doing with the blind kid. You would be a nice boy for me to marry someday. Oh, it's embarrassing. Yeah. So embarrassing you're telling me twice, huh? Oh. Agriculture. I'll miss you, sir, but I must find another customer. I'm his only customer? Wow. Okay, good experience. Yeah. Why did I want to come here? Hey guys, um, is, is like my team thing here? Is this where? Yes. Okay. This is Sir Butt investigated the area, found warrior pride, passed the warrior pride to Peter. It's a modern day warrior. Mean, mean pride. All right. You are going to give this antidote to May, and then you're going to give... Th thank you, uh, Ko, for the hint here on Jaha. I don't know if it's necessary for him to have it, but I wanted him to have it. That's the whole reason I came here, was because you had mentioned... Uh, promotional item. So I really wanted to get that before I forgot. And now... Hey, dude. Take it easy. Alright. Yeah, that was my main goal, was just to come here for that before I forgot. But I guess while we're here, we could talk to the king, right? So maybe he's something to tell us. Wait, I thought he was just down... Isn't this guy downstairs? You can't understand. It was the last year. <sighs> okay, so there's literally nothing else here other than the thing I just got. Everything else is exactly the same. Nothing has updated. <sighs> Alright. Let's just save the game. Well, actually, you know what? Let's do a promotion. Let's uh, t talk to man here. What's up, man? Promote. I want to promote All right, well I only have a couple of choices here. Let's promote May. Fighting class. Yes. I don't know what that means. To Bwint. What is a Bwint? Let's find out. The light blesses Ranger May. 
with a class of wit. I have no idea what Gwint stands for. She's level one, though. All right, we are gonna save the game. We're gonna call it for today's episode. Friends, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. As I said at the beginning, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. Um, I wanna know about your Rings of Power hot takes. I wanna know about your favorite cartoons as a kid. I wanna know how to get into that door in the cave. But until next time, friends, be kind to yourselves. Be kind to each other. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next episode.